Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, even though uh, Microsoft Edge has advanced over time with lots of features and lots of changes, one of the things that is still missing, and a lot of the things are still missing, that people would like to see, and what are they exactly? What would people like to see in Microsoft Edge uh, while they're using the browser? And um, so um, there's a um, kind of a top 10 most asked feature that popped up and that uh, tells us what people want and don't want, basically. Um, one of them, the first one, extension support on mobile version of Edge. So people would like to have the extensions run on the mobile version on your smartphone or tablet of Edge. I um, use Microsoft Edge on my devices like my smartphone for a simple reason. Um, I actually like the syncing capability, the fact that what I have as uh, bookmarks or anything that I've visited, it trans you know it transports itself on the mobile side as long as you're connected to your Microsoft account. So I, I kind of like that and use Edge on my smartphone, my Galaxy S22 Ultra, and on my tablets uh, for that purpose. But I do use a lot of Google Chrome on those devices also. Um, so, you know, there could be things that could be interesting to add, that's for sure. Uh, the other thing, navigate back within a PDF after clicking a link. Of course, we all know that PDFs are um, one of the things that you can see in the uh, Microsoft Edge. And it is actually one, I find it to be one of the best PDF readers around, basically. Now, what's happening with that is that there is a um, problem where if you click a link on a PDF and go back, you're going to go back to this, the top of the PDF. You're not going to go back to where you were in the PDF itself. So people want to have the navigation go back to where you were in the document, which is actually a very reasonable thing. Uh, signing PDF documents with an electronic signature image is another asked feature. Uh, improved touchscreen support. A lot of people with a device like a Surface don't like the fact that the device itself or the, 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 the browser itself isn't that um, you know friendly for touch purposes. So um, you know and I think that will have a lot of things going for it because um, there's even Windows 11 we kind of know that it's not really um really um of a huge you know it's not really of a, a, a kind of friendly windows 11 touch either so um so it's going to be with you know both the uh the browser and the operating system itself they want to have uh, the Microsoft Edge Manager, Password Manager, to work with school accounts and not just personal Microsoft accounts. They want to have a to bring back the EPUB support. So they're saying that you know EPUB or electronic publication support will not be back, and Microsoft did say they don't want to do that. But I think it deserves to be you know uh, reviewed again. For a simple reason, a lot of people are asking this. Uh, EPUB support was actually in the first Edge. If you had the original Edge, you could actually have and read your electronic publications. But for some reason, they don't want it back. Um, OCR functions for scanned PDFs, the ability for the browser to detect the text itself um, you know, we often see this when uh, you have written documents and you want to have them transferred into a text that you can maybe work, for example, in either a PDF or work in a, you know, Word document. Uh, they would like, a lot of people would like to have that. Uh, scrollable horizontal tab strips, apparently, something that people want. Multiple profiles on the mobile version. And Adobe InDesign created interactive PDFs. They don't work in the browser. 
they'd like to have that support come through. So these are the most uh, asked features according to the feedback hub within the um, with with you know with Microsoft for the Microsoft Edge browser itself. You know, there's a lot of stuff. I I also see that a lot of people in Edge would like to have back. If you guys remember, uh, there were you know all sorts of features like uh, the ability to um, have the tab support and the um, I'm trying to remember the name of the tab feature that was on the upper left here, which was a ability to um, put tabs you know away for uh, a certain purpose and get them back easily, things like that. A lot of things that I know Microsoft doesn't want to bring back also, so it's kind of interesting to see where it's going. Um, overall, you know, Edge is um, unfortunately, I find, going not necessarily in the best of directions. A little too many th bloated features that we don't necessarily want to have are in there, or if they are, they should be, you know, we should know about it, but we should have the ability to turn them on if we want to, not to have them automatically on. But definitely, um, as the future goes ahead, we'll, have, we'll see how the future of Microsoft Edge uh, goes also with it. And, you know, the fact that um, when you look at the browser market, it's slowly creeping up, but, you know, I don't think it's ever going to get to the level of, of Google Chrome, for example. But we'll see. Only in the future will tell us. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.